Hi there YouTube, today I'd like to talk about the reason that MGTOW can come across as angry. This isn't just about MGTOW actually, this is about men's rights um, activists or anyone really who opposes anything to do with feminism or feminist values or anything like that. Um, at a basic level, feminism is all about women first. They like to portray it as different things, but we all know the truth. And no amount of, of disagreeing will make it not so. Now, the only real people who are prepared to actually say this are red pill people, because everyone else tries to deny it or tweak it round. Now, the reason um, men tend to come across as angry or MGTOW people or any anti-feminist person tends to come across as angry is we are hardwired as a species to favour women. We just are. It's literally hard-coded into our DNA. Many people have done videos that are way better than videos I produce that basically say, you know, we are hard-coded to like women, to love women, to put women first. Because if you don't put women first, society collapses because, you know, men might build and do everything, but if you don't have any women, you don't reproduce, the society dies. For example, if we, I don't know, started a colony on Mars and you only put men on the colony, well, the colony is not going to last more than, you know, the length of time it takes for all those men to die out, no matter how fantastic that colony might be. I digress. So, why are men's rights anti-feminism, MGTOW people so angry? Well, basically because they have, they've discovered the truth and they're having to go against all of their natural instincts in order to follow this law, or follow this world, follow this path, follow this road, follow the red, red pill road. Because, you know, at every turn, biologically, genetically, down to the DNA and down to the entire doctrination of society, you know, everything tells them, be nice to a woman, you just naturally want to do it. You know, men men are trained from a very early age to be be nice to women, to hold open doors, to you know, look after the weak, etc, etc, etc. And they're having to fight their, they're having to fight everything about their Inner, inner self. So everything, basically, every time they put themselves forward and go, no, actually, you know, women have got enough stuff. It's time to put men first. It's time to let women, you know, sow as they reap, etc. It's time to ignore the feminists. It's time not to be a mangina. It's time to absolutely, you know, let them get on with doing whatever they want to do. Every time their brain has to do that, you have to do the mental gymnastics to actually force yourself to actually go, well, yeah, I actually think that, you know, men's rights first, but I'll, I'll just hold this door open. No, no, you can't. No. Oh. And so it goes on. So men have this inner conflict. Anti, well, maybe anti-feminist women don't have the conflict, obviously, but any anti-feminist man of any description has this inner conflict going on all the time. So yes, they can come across as angry because they are having to fight every ounce of their personality in order to, I mean, how annoying is it, answer very, spoilers, to know that everything you've been brought up to believe in is a lie. You know, you've been taught to believe that women should be loved and cherished and that they will love and cherish you back to suddenly realise that that's drivel. That's drivel, complete nonsense. You are a walking ATM. Women will love you, but their definition of love is, what can you give me? Sad, but true. And you can't blame women for thinking that because that's how they are hard-coded down to the genetic DNA level. It doesn't mean we have to, as men, like it. This has always been the case that men provide, women take. And that was all fine whilst men were honoured and valued. But now we're not. 
So in a very short length of time, we've gone from the, yes, it's a really raw deal for men. We recognise that, but it's OK because an Englishman's home is his castle and a man's home is his castle. And the moment he gets home, he is valued. He is rec- his slaving away, his hard work, his sacrifice is recognised and accepted and appreciated. And suddenly we've been told, no, it's not. Actually, the moment you can't do anything for anyone, you can sod off. And by anyone, we mean if you are useless to society, if you are useless to women, if you're useless to your kids, if you're useless to work, if you're useless at any moment, the second you stop being a useful utility, you are toast and can sod off. That is why men are angry. That is why people can easily come across as angry in the men's rights, MGTOW, anti-feminism world.